the all-star rosters for both the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference. Jake Oninger is the man who will represent the Dallas Stars. He's a guy who appreciates that. He's a guy who really loves the hockey culture. Well, I mean, he had his coming out party a couple of playoffs ago, and now this is just another step up toward, you know, being a Stanley Cup champion. I mean, every year I think you have that, you know, for me, I have the same burning passion to, to win. And the save of the night for Jake Onger. This is just absolute larceny. Just a highlight waiting to happen. I mean, the NHL, let's be honest, is, is the best 400, 500 players in the world. Uh, and now you're, you're in the elite company of being in the top, you know, 40 players of that pool. I think everyone in the league recognizes well, he's already shown he can be special for extended periods. Does things right every time. If he's in the net, he's battling his ass off. And if he's not in the net and Wedgie's in the net, he's the loudest guy on the bench cheering for him. I think there's a lot of guys that say they want to be the best, but, but not a lot of them back it up with action. Uh, I think Jake's one of those athletes that does. His preparation is uh, extraordinary, and I think that's what separates him. My goal is to be a Vesna caliber goalie. I want to, you know, be a consistent rock for this team and this organization for many years to come, and um, I think I can do that. Morrissey saved by Anger. I've been very fortunate uh, over a 16-year NHL career to, to have a couple Hall of Fame goalies I've worked with, and I think what separates those guys from other guys is, is just their mental toughness. He, he has been so tentacular. He got a wry smile after that one. And I think Jake has those qualities. We saw his record after the team lost the next night. He was usually our best player and usually found a way to get us a win. To get this team to the playoffs takes uh, everything that you have in order to win, and that's all that matters. Tremendous amount of respect in that room for him as a player, uh, but I think even more as a person and how he carries himself. Goalies don't wear letters, uh, but if they did, you know, he would he would definitely have a letter on his jersey. And as it is, he's part of our leadership group.